All right, so going to do one for you guys for edge annuity as well, because I know some of you guys may be confused or maybe have some questions. So hopefully this will help. Uh, a little shout out to the math department because yes, I learned all of this from the math department when they did their PL. So for those of you who missed it, uh, Mr. Turner and Ms. Wilmer did an excellent job. All right. Um, so you probably want to create a course. And first off, uh, let's do let's go back to Launchpad so that it'll let you know where I came from. So I clicked it, clicked on Blended Learning, uh, and and then I clicked on Manage Courses, and this popped up. So I am going to set up mine for U.S. government. So I'm just going to type U.S.G.O.B. And it'll pop up all the ones that have U.S. government. So this might be a little slow. Hey, that's AP. So maybe not AP. So... All right. So this is just the regular, ah, I've already created one, <clears throat> but I'm going to create a new one for you. Um, first thing you want to do is click on customize and you want to create a new course based off of this course. And it will pop up here. And then you want to rename it. Um, I am going to name this one Newton U.S. Government There we go. And then you save it. All right. So now I am going to go over here. We've already covered this, so I don't need to use that. We have already covered this. This is actually the unit we're in. You'll notice there are 10 lessons. Based off of the number of days that we have left uh, before spring break, I am just going to assign them these classes or these assignments. Um, there is a test here at the end. Uh, you will have to unlock it for them, uh, and you can set up uh, a, a way to communicate with them and let them know when you're unlocking it and then how long it'll be unlocked. All right, so if I wanted to say, uh, I don't need them to do that session. Okay, so I turned it off. So now there's nine lessons, one off. But I'm going to leave them uh, active, all of them active. Now you can click here, and you can go over here and go, well, I don't want to do the warm-up for this one. Um, I don't really, don't really need to do the quiz because I've already done the quiz, so you can turn that off. Now, if you'll notice up here, it'll, it's got a time. This is how much time that is um, suspected that um, they will use to do this. This is like the minimum time it should take. Um, some of these students may go a little faster or a little slower. That's a pretty good average time um, to get through it. If they're just clicking, it'll... Well, they won't learn anything, but anyway. All right, so publish the course. Publish, again, check course options. Now, this is where you go in and decide what you want your uh, specific grade weights to be. So let's say that you have this at 50. All right, so now that's a total of 100%. So quizzes are 20, tests are 30%, and assignments are 50. All right. 
Um, I would just leave all of this like it is. The next most important section uh, is right here, when you want this to start and when you want this to end. Well, today is the 17th, and this is technically when we're supposed to start. And we're supposed to go through Friday the 3rd, because the next week, if you look at... Uh, let's get this where I can go to the next month. So, if you go to April, then this week is spring break. All right, so I'm going to go all the way to the third. All right, cool. And then go down here to the bottom and hit Submit All Changes. Um, I already have some students assigned, so I'm not going to uh, make changes right now. Um, but if you do not change students currently assigned to this course, which is recommended, um, you can do that. Update this course and all students currently assigned to it or update this course and all students in the selected group. So if you have them in a certain group or if it's just all students assigned, and we'll talk about groups in a different video, but uh, this should get you started. I'm actually not going to publish this because there's no need for me to create a new course. So that is um, the end of this video. I hope it was helpful uh, and thanks for watching.